Hey guys, so it's January, another month has come and gone, another year has come and gone, so it's definitely time for some favorites videos. This is my December favorites. I will also link below my 2012 favorites. Alright, so let's go ahead and just get right into it. So my first favorite that I want to mention this month, this is the Dove Hairspray, and I actually hauled this a little while ago. It's a Style and Care Strengthen and Shine Flexible Holding Hairspray. I got this because my friend suggested it. She said it's a very flexible holding hairspray. It smells amazing. Um, and this is just a hairspray that I really like to spray all over my hair after I strain it or curl it. It's something that I can just lightly kind of get in there. And it smells so good. And it's not going to make my hair crunchy or anything, but it's just going to kind of help to hold um, the straight or the curly hair. I personally like to use this better with straight hair because I like a little bit stronger holding hairspray with my curled hair. Um, but I always want my hair to be touchable, especially when it's straightened. You also want to make sure that the style stays. So this is a great hairspray for that. I use hairspray on my flyaways, um, but I don't suggest using this at your roots because it is a little bit, has like a shine serum in it, um, which looks great at the ends of your hair. It makes it look very healthy and pretty. But if you're putting products like that near the roots of your hair, it's going to tend to get oily a little bit quicker. So I have a couple lip products. Um, the first one, this is new um, to the cosmetic drugstore industry. And this is, I don't remember what this is called. So this is one of the new Maybelline lip glosses, and this is in the shade Iced Chocolate, and I absolutely love this lip gloss. It's the only shade that I've tried from this collection. I have heard that some of the colors are a little bit um, less opaque and thinner, um, and just like a sheer wash of color, but this is very, very opaque. It's a very nice pigmented color, which I love. Um, you can see that right there. like. That is a very pigmented lip gloss, which I love. It's perfect for a nude lip. There is sparkle in it, but it's not super noticeable when it's on your lips. Like, it's not a super shimmery lip color. But I love it. I think it looks fabulous. It feels so luxurious. I'm pretty sure there's 0% wax in here. Like, they tried to make it as comfortable as possible. So, I love this lip gloss. I haven't checked out any of the other colors, like I said. But if you're looking for a good nude lip gloss, I definitely suggest this one. The next product is a Revlon Lip Butter, and I'm actually not a big fan of the Revlon Lip Butters. I personally love the L'Oreal ones, um, but this color has been working really great for me for the month of December. I was wearing a lot of red lips to different parties and things like that because it was December. So this is in Cherry Tart number 70, and these are nice products. I mean, they are nice and pigmented. It's a sheer wash of color that is definitely buildable. Um, I like the red one because I like using tinted lip balms. I really enjoy using things that are more uh, moisturizing on my lips because they do have really dry skin and lips. Um, but I just thought this gave me a really nice color throughout the day. Um, I found that I had to reapply it pretty often, but it was something that I didn't have to pay a lot of attention to because when you wear red lipstick, it's something that you do have to keep an eye on. you got to make sure it doesn't get on your teeth. You can't really wear it if you're going to be eating and drinking a lot, um, which, of course, around the holidays, you're going to a lot of different parties where you are eating and drinking a lot. So I loved this color for parties and stuff because I could just put it on, take it off, really simple. It gave me a good wash of color. This is the e.l.f. Mineral Eyeshadow Primer, and this primer is not top-notch, but it definitely works. The most important thing for me when looking for a primer is something that doesn't crease, and that's what I found that this product did a good job of doing. It's a lot thinner than a lot of higher-ended uh, primers are. It's very, like, liquidy. Um, blends in more like a tinted moisturizer or something, but it definitely does its job. It makes sure that my eyeshadows don't um, crease. It doesn't prevent fading as well as some other ones, but it is on my favorites list because it gets the job done. It's something that worked great for preventing creasing, which is the most important thing to me. And it's from e.l.f. Cosmetics, so it's really inexpensive. This product I have on today, this is the NYC Liquid Eyeliner. And I think that they have a few other types of liquid eyeliners. And I might have hauled this or mentioned this a really long time ago, but I'm going to mention Oh! I'm going to mention it again because it's been a while. So this is a really nice eyeliner. I find it's very opaque. Um, it has a good brush. It's not a felt tip liner. It's actually like a dip brush, which I like. Um, 
and it does a good job. I mean, it can have a really thick line, which you can build up to a thicker line, which is important to me because I like to have control of my eyeliner. And I find that this just dries quick enough because sometimes when you use liquid eyeliners, it's not drying fast enough and it can get up onto your lid and destroy your beautiful makeup look. So I do like that this dries quickly. Um, you can see it right there. It's a nice opaque black color and it's really inexpensive. I just find that it gets the job done and I've been loving it. And like I said, I have it on my upper lash line today. So I want to mention this product really, really quickly because I know I've mentioned Essence Mascaras a hundred times, but I love Essence Mascaras. This is the iHeart Extreme Volume, and I just find that they do a really, really good job, and they're super inexpensive. This one has a big brush, which I love large brushes on my mascaras, and I love any mascara that's going to do volumizing and, like, separating. I like stuff to be clump free and nice and volumized and just, like, big, <laughs> and I find that Essence Mascaras do a good job of that. Okay, I bought this product this month. Um, I've only had it for a couple of weeks, but I've absolutely been loving it. This is the Super Stay 24 Hour Concealer by Maybelline, and I do have this foundation, which I also really like, and this is just a really, really nice concealer. I find that it does an awesome job. I'll put it on this um, eyeliner here. Um, I just find that it does a really good job of concealing everything, and it does Super Stay. I love this concealer because it's so easy to blend. I find that it mixes in with my foundation and mixes into my skin really, really nicely. Um, and it does stay for a long period of time, which is important. And it doesn't cake up, which that is like the worst thing about concealers ever is whenever it's like caking up around a spot that you're trying to conceal because then it just makes it look patchy and worse than it did before. So this is a really good concealer. I definitely recommend it. Alright, this nail polish is the Revlon Colorstay Nail Polish, and I love Revlon Colorstay products, so I was excited to try this out, and I'd heard a lot of good things. This color I found myself wearing a ton this month. This is in the shade Velvet Rope, which I think is the weirdest name, um, but it's just a really nice deep red color, and I like the deeper reds versus the brighter ones. I just think that they're a little bit more sophisticated, and I love this color. I think that I wore it like four different times this month and um, this is a color that I found once I took it off I had to reapply it because it was just perfect for the holidays and it did stay pretty well. I'm sure y'all are familiar with EOS lip balms, the evolution of smooth. They're 100% organic I believe. Um, if not 100% then like 98 or something. It's up there. But this one is in mint. I don't know what the name is exactly but it's the mint one. It's just this like pretty Tiffany blue color and this one's definitely my favorite one. These make your lips so, so smooth, and the mint flavor and smell is just very refreshing, and I love mint flavored chapsticks, so I definitely recommend checking this out if you guys do like EOS lip balms. This one's definitely my favorite, and I have like six of them, so. I have another e.l.f. product to share with y'all. This is the e.l.f. blush, actually, but it's not a blush. It is a highlighter, and it's breaking on my body. Um, this is in the shade Gotta Glow. I believe if you go online it doesn't say Gotta Glow, it just says Glow, but on this packaging it says Gotta Glow. But it's the same thing. Um, this is a good dupe for Albatross by NARS, if y'all have ever used that. Um, it's a really, really pretty uh, glowy color. Funny, that's the name. It's more of a yellowy undertone for a highlighter, but I think that it looks so pretty on like a fresh face. I find that it just really makes the face pop and it's a nice, nice um, highlighter. All right, my last product is kind of boring. <laughs> this is the Equate Eye Makeup Remover. Um, this is just the oil-free one. It's supposed to be like a dupe for the L'Oreal Eye Makeup Remover, which... I've never used, but I found this to work out perfectly for me this month. I haven't used an eye makeup remover in a long time. I just usually use my eye makeup remover wipes. I usually just use my makeup remover wipes, which are by Equate as well, actually. They're the Olay dupes, and those are my absolute favorite of all time. But anyways, um, I've been loving this, especially with like getting my mascara off because... A lot of oil-free makeup removers don't do a very good job of removing your uh, mascara and like eyeliner. You kind of just get left over with like this little liner in the morning and like it smudges and all that stuff. But this really does get everything off, which is important to me because I like to have a clean face when I go to bed and have a nice surface to work with when I wake up. 
Okay, well that's it for my December favorites. I hope y'all enjoyed the month of December and I hope y'all having a great new year. Um, leave comments below. Let me know if you've tried out any of these products. Let me know what some of your favorite products were this month. And I'll also link below my next favorites video which is going to be a 2012 beauty favorites video as well as my Instagram and my vlog channel. So please comment, rate, and subscribe and I will see y'all later. Mwah. Bye guys.